So you may have seen, if you're a Londoner or visit London enough, a list of pubs called the Blue Posts, just like this one here. There's five in this part of London alone, in the West End of London alone. And there are different theories as to why it's called the Blue Post or the Blue Posts, but I think we might have the most likely explanation. One common belief is that the Blue Posts once marked out the boundary of Soho Fields, which was supposed to have been a royal hunting ground during the 16th century, which would have fell under Henry VIII, the Tudors. However, I don't believe this is the case due to the geography of the location, and upon doing some research, many others agreed with me that it's not very likely that was the case. Before we move on, I have to point out how lovely this pub actually is, and Dan and I were both somewhat enamored. We're in love with this balcony here and the wonderful tower feature. And it's lovely to see it's hanging baskets and the efforts it's made. It's got a lovely old sign on the side where you can actually see it's got City of Westminster written above Ganton Street. So beautiful pub. And um, I hope that the blue posts last a lot longer than some others I could make. So this is most likely the most iconic and recognizable of the blue posts. This is the blue post in one of the blue posts in Soho on Berwick Street W1. Now, as you can see, it's a fantastic building and they've even got written on the side here, a proper old London boozer. We have to allude to the wonderful tiling, how fantastic the brickwork is, especially compared to many of the pubs going up. But it also has connotations to a woman called Jessie Matthews, who was a theatre performer in the 1920s and it's affiliated with her. She learned to dance upstairs. Her first performance uh, was when she was roughly about 14 or 15, very young. But this, as I was saying, this pub, if anyone was to sort of say to us, oh, the Blue Post, I know where you mean, it's most likely going to be this one because of its high density and it's, it's always packed within this tight region of Soho. Now, this pub on East Castle Street in Fitzrovia alludes to the most likely case when it comes to where the name the Blue Posts came from. Taxi ranks. The belief is that the Blue Post or Blue Posts marked out taxi ranks, hitherto the use of horse-drawn carriages or horse taxis, horse-drawn taxis. And that's why we have a sign just up here which alludes to that very thing, which is a sedan chair. Now, a sedan chair, as you can see, is a bit of a nightmare of a job <laughs> because you have to physically carry another human. So two, two humans would carry another human. Whatever your mass, shall we say, whatever uh, quantity that you, you had about you, you would still have to be carried. So I don't know whether they worked in twos or worked in fours and, and took turns. Can't be entirely sure, but I know that it's not a job I would have particularly enjoyed. So if you think it's difficult being a black cab driver now, try being a sedan chair operator or whatever they called themselves. Now, I have to also add, just because it's the most likely case that the Blue Post marked out the taxi positions for the sedan chairs doesn't mean it's absolutely true. So this is twofold for me. One, it highlights that pub names are fascinating and in their, in their own way, they are a piece of history. And the other is, if this isn't the actual origin of the name of the Blue Post, and there's still that, it's still in the air, still hiding from us, which I find almost mythical. And I love that there's so many parts of our history we can look at, and there's so many which are still so mysterious. <laughs> 